Hi, Chris here from Tech Tablets. I'm in the process here of opening up my Cube i7 stylus. Now, just a quick tip here of where to start. This is from Woot Ever from XDA Forums who gave me this tip here, which is actually a really good one because I had a lot of trouble trying to get it started, the process of opening it up. So the best place to start using your prying tool is right here next to the actual volume rocker. And just go along here. Once you get started there, then all you need to do is just go along the whole edge moving along like this and it will start to separate. You hear those clicks there? And that's when you know that it is coming apart the case here. So you have to go around the whole outer body doing that and eventually you'll be able to take the backing off it. What I'm going to do later is I have an up and coming video of upgrading the SSD in here. Now it has an M2 22 by 42 millimeter drive in there. It's a SATA 3.1 that's the drive we need. I'm thinking about putting a 128 gigabyte drive in there to upgrade the tablet here because 64 gigabytes isn't really cutting it for me so I'm going to have a go at doing that. So I'm not going to show you the whole process of opening this up here. I'll just pause the video and skip ahead to once I've got it open and we can have a look at the insides of the tablet. So I've just gone around the whole outer body here now what did happen to me is this side here where the speakers are, I've just had a couple of those clips actually break on me there. Uh, this one and this one here. So it's a bit worrying there. But what I did first is go around the corners are probably the hardest area just around here to pry that open. So you can be careful around there. Once I did that, it's just to wedge it now and then pull it up and push down with the whole case here. So the bottom clips can then just sort of slot out without having to put any real tension on them there. And if I do that, then there we go. Okay, there is the internals of the machine. And as I expected, there is actually contact with the back of the case, which explains why it gets so hot on this side here, because that's where they've got the heat sink. Now this is a little different from the Dell Venue 11 Pro that I've seen. That has an actual copper heat sink on there that is definitely a lot thicker than this. This is just some aluminium here, but it still does the job. It still works quite well there. Now what I'm after here is right here, which is this 4C SSD drive. This is what I'm going to change and swap that out. Now you can see, hopefully here, that it's actually really quite small compared to your standard uh, SATA 3, your M SATA drive, sorry. It's a little bit smaller there, so this is the smallest model of the M2 SSDs. This is what I'm going to replace here. And all we just all we need to do is undo the screw here, pull that up. We'll have to remove a bit of this tape here and just move the wireless antenna a little bit out of the way there. And this here will come up and we can put a new one in. But before you do that, it's advisable, of course, to take your uh, Windows image back up. Or if you're going to do a fresh install, I wouldn't worry about that. And swap that over here. And having a look around uh, the motherboard, we can see, well, this looks to be, I think, down here, the haptic feedback motor. Or it could actually be the microphone, by the looks of it. Maybe the haptic feedback. But we have uh, the speakers. They're over here. Left and right speakers. Uh, the, the battery cell here. There is a little bit of space here, so we're not really that much on the bottom, but maybe they could have actually gone for a slightly larger battery there, but that would probably increase the costs. But overall, the, the way it's put together, that it is actually quite solidly clipped in there, and it's very hard to remove there. So there's a look there at the internals of the Cube i7 stylus. Thank you for watching the video, and if you are going to upgrade your hard drive, best of luck. Be careful and I only recommend you do this if you are experienced in opening up tablets or laptops if there's something you've done before because you could damage it and you could stuff something up. Be careful about static as well. Um, make sure you've earthed yourself and don't go touching around the motherboard or around anything here because you could damage it. And yeah, I'm not responsible for any damage you do. Thank you for watching the video and I'll hopefully catch you in my up and coming future videos on this tablet. Bye for now.